relationship with God uh, as a typical Muslim, um, Allah was God that was distant. He had given me words that I had to follow to the letter, and if I didn't, I would be in trouble with Him. So uh, it wasn't a personal relationship with, uh, with God, with Allah. It was like, uh, like He was distant. He had handed me, uh, sent me a, uh, directions and commandments uh, in Quran, and I had to do it. And if I didn't, I wasn't a good uh, Muslim, and he, he wouldn't approve of me. So, uh, no personal relationship, just trying to please him, and just trying not to get him mad at me by being a good religious person. I uh, try to fill the voidness in my heart by science. I was studying science, reading books, and just trying to fill that empty heart. Some people do it with poetry, it's an emptiness in everybody's heart and people do it in different ways. Even uh, through religion, we, what we are trying to do is to fill our emptiness in our heart with religion. And uh, if you're sincere, religion doesn't do it. You know, religion uh, doesn't change your heart. It just gives you things to do and try to uh, fill your life with, uh, with things, uh, with uh, religious duties, but doesn't really change you and fill your heart. So, uh, as a sincere Muslim, once you follow Islam, you get to a point point. say, what am I doing? And uh, it's not really satisfying my soul. But I have to do it because if I don't, Allah will judge me and uh, I will be in trouble. So it will be a lot out of fear to, to follow religions. But uh, it was a period between 14 and uh, 2022 that I just focused on science. I said, I have a goal, I'm going to get my PhD. I, f I felt if I get higher degrees, if I uh, immerse myself in science and knowledge and degrees, maybe the emptiness of my heart will go away. I found a good job while I was a student, a PhD student. I found a good job that was paying me, paying my way, so I had no financial trouble. I was getting the goals of my life, but I felt still my heart is empty. And I said, be, be honest to yourself. I talk, started talking to myself. I said, there's something missing in life that uh, money, job, uh, degrees doesn't really satisfy. Uh, is there really a God? I mean, I even question uh, uh, the validity of existence of God. I said, I'm a scientist who has proven to me that there is God. And uh, I knew that religion doesn't do much. But I thought maybe I've missed something in religion. Maybe I should go back and study uh, Islam one more time. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I should go back and study that. Uh, maybe there is God. Maybe religion relates to life. Maybe what is missing in my life is God and religion. So naturally, I thought that Islam is the last religion um, and I should study it. But this time, I said, I'm going to study it with an open heart. I got a Quran and I said, uh, God, you know, I'm sincere. I'm intelligent. I, I felt I was intelligent. And my heart is sincere and I should be able to find you just by reading Quran. No other book. Other books maybe men have written, but they say this book God has written. So I started reading Quran in a new way, in a very open-minded way, searching sincerely for God. If God, you are in this, I will give all my life to you. I almost finished the Quran and as I was finishing, I said, well, I got some more knowledge of who God is and what, what Quran says about God. But my heart's still empty. I mean, I, what is this? I, my knowledge, my head knowledge increases. My heart's still empty. And I told myself, well, get used to it almost, you know. Life is empty. Everybody goes through life empty. Religious, non-religious, this is it. I said, I'm done with the research. But something happened in my heart. Uh, every day I would get up, say, I'm done. God does not relate to life. But something in my heart uh, was telling me, you think you're a good researcher? What kind of researcher are you? You just studied one book, one religion, and you make your final decision. Researchers don't do that. You, you have to study several things, several books, and then you make your final decision. So just out of my own pride saying, uh, well, maybe I should study other books and uh, read the Bible. And so if people ask me, I can proudly say, yeah, I've studied them all. You know, I know all of them. And uh, God does not relate to our daily life. So I got the Bible and I read some of the Old Testament and then jumped to the New Testament, to the book of Matthew. And I said, I, I don't think I'm going to find anything new in, in the Bible. 
because Quran is the most complete book. This is just a subset of it. Uh, but as I was reading the uh, book of uh, Matthew, I encountered this man called Jesus who didn't look like any other man. I thought, here is a prophet Jesus, and he just like Muhammad. I mean, he's just all the same. They all came to tell people to be good and to follow God. But he didn't fit the profile of a prophet I had in mind. He let people worship him, and a prophet will never do that. The prophet would say, don't worship me, worship God. But he didn't, never did that. So I was struggling with Jesus. Is he really a prophet? Is he really savior of the world? What about Muhammad? What about Quran? I just struggled for months. What I did after a while, because uh, I couldn't make a decision, I said, I'm going to go just sit in a church uh, and uh, see what they say. After a few weeks, sitting in the church just listening uh, a person uh, uh, the, the pastor gave a sermon and said he who has a question come forward if you have a question just ask me and of course I had many questions and I went uh, forward to to meet the pastor of the church and I started asking questions I asked him uh, you know I've, I've been studying Quran and Islam and I have these questions he said, what are they I said is Muhammad the, the prophet of God he thought for a few seconds, he said, well, uh, what's your next question? He said, is the uh, Quran the word of God? He said, well, uh, what's your next question? How about my grandma? She is a very sincere Muslim. Does Christianity teach that she goes to hell? He, he thought, and he says, well, what's your next question? I mean, he asked, he let me uh, ask all my questions. He didn't answer. At the end, he said, you know what? Um, I do not know the answers to your questions. But I know one thing. Faith is very simple. Do you believe that you're a sinner? I said, well, um, if the standard is Sermon on the Mount, that Jesus says, if you, if you look at a woman with the lustful eyes, you have committed adultery in your heart. That, that's the highest standard. Uh, I, I remember the Bible says, if you're angry at somebody, you have killed him in your heart. I mean, that's the highest standard. I may not have killed anybody, I may not have committed adultery, but in my heart, according to God, I have already committed murder and adultery.